Hey, hello everyone again. How are you doing? Are you okay at home? Nice. I am Mr. Chester and today we're going to have another class of social studies. Uh, today we're going to recheck about growing up. Also, we're going to take a look at something new, but always related to the present, past and future. Now, when I say past, what do you think? Because what I think is this. Wow. And if I say the future, what can you imagine? What I imagine is this. Okay, so after that huge explosion, let's start with the class. And I will be here, as always, so you can watch me and I can watch you. So for today's class, we're going to see yesterday, today and tomorrow with part two. Okay, and why don't we start today's class with a video? So, video number one is about yesterday, today and tomorrow and you're gonna see these people here, or robots. They sing along and it's very good. So, pause the video here and once you're ready, you can play this again. Tomorrow is just one day ahead. Oh, I love that video. I love these tiny robots. Good. So, let's continue. Okay, let's remember. Growing up, always. Past, present and future. When you were a baby, now that you're a kid, and in the future that you're a grown-up. Okay? So this is the same as the caterpillar, right? The tiny pupa from the when when this one evolves, and when the pupa evolves into a butterfly. It's the same as us, babies, kids, and adults. That's good, right? Look at this. Wow. Baby. <laughs> baby and baby, kid, grown up. Baby, kid, adult. And then old. But for now, let's just focus on this. Baby, kid, adolescent or adult. Easy? Good. So, let's continue. Now, pay attention. Let's take a look at this image. Let's see, it says kindergarten, uh, first grade A and second grade A. Mm. And there are questions there. I'm going to read the questions and you are going to answer them, okay? It says, which grade were you last year? Up there. This one up there. Which grade are you now? And which grade will you be Next year, this one, next year. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of minutes and you can do the activity. Pause the video here. Once you're ready, you play this again and we check together. Good. Was it easy? Was it hard? No, right? Very easy. So, which grade were you last year? Last year was kindergarten. There, just a K. Which grade are you now? This year. This year. First grade. It can be first grade A, B or C, but it's first grade. And next year, which grade will you be next year? Second grade. Right here. And it can be second grade A, B or C. And maybe I will be there too, with you. It'll be amazing, right? So, second, next, second grade next year. This is fine. If you have it like that, perfect. If you wrote kindergarten, that's good. If you wrote first, that's perfect. If you wrote second, amazing. If not, good anyways. Amazing. All right? Good. Okay, so this is the timeline. Past present and future. Past, present and future. So, 
I can't remember the years very well, so I am going to call fake Mr. Chester and he can help me. Wait, you are not fake Mr. Chester. Oh, there you are. Good. Can you help me with this? I can't remember the years in the past nor in the future. Yeah, that's very easy. In the past, it was 2019. And in the future, it'll be 2021. Easy. Very good. Thank you. So, in the past, last year was 2019. Very good. And in the future, next year, it will be 2021 or 2021. That's a big number. But it's good. Great. Thank you. Thank you, fake Mr. Chester, for helping us. Now, if we continue, we're going to start with the activity number one, worksheet number four. And always remember to have your booklet with you. This is very easy. It says, one, write the corresponding number of the year. The corresponding number of the year. And two, draw about the three years. You have to draw about the three years. For example, this year we're in first grade, last year kindergarten, and next year second grade. Draw about it, all right? Pause the video here, and once you're ready, you can play this again. Did you do it? I'm pretty sure you did. Let's check. What I did was this. This year is 2020 or 2020. And because I can't draw, I put a picture. This year, I am teaching. Last year was 2019 or 2019. And what I was doing last year, I was traveling. Look at this picture. I was in India. That's the Taj Mahal. And next year, it'll be 2021 or 2021. And I wish I am teaching as well. So maybe next year, we can be together learning and I can be teaching you. Good, right? So now, we are going to have another video. Video number two, vegetable song. Vegetables? Yes. And look at this. These are my friends, the penguins. They are going to be singing and you have to sing with them as well. All right. So watch the video. Pause this here. And once you're ready, you can play this again. Carrots, cabbage, broccoli, some vegetables for you and me. Yes, I love these penguins or chickens. I don't know what they are, but they are amazing. I love it. Good, so if we continue with the class, we are going to find something similar to this. What is this? A fridge, right? With different things inside. We're going to have two different activities. One of them is with questions. And in the other part, you have to say yes or no. For example, if I say there are one, two, three, four, five, five eggs in the fridge, you will have to say yes. Yes, like the dog over there. Yes. And if I say there are two avocados, avocados is palta, there are two avocados and I just see one, you will have to say no, like Scooby-Doo. All right? Okay, so let's start with the first activity. Take a look. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Three different fridges. And there are questions. You are going to answer these questions. How many tomatoes were yesterday? Tomatoes were yesterday, today, and tomorrow. How much lettuce, lettuce was yesterday, today, and tomorrow? How much cheese up there was yesterday, today, and tomorrow? 
and how many yogurts, the yogurts of the yogurt, were yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Okay? So, answer these questions. Pause the video. And once you're ready, you can play this again and we will check together. Good! Did you answer the questions? Great, let's see. How many tomatoes were yesterday? Tomatoes. I count one, two, three, four, five, six. So six tomatoes yesterday. Today, one, two. And tomorrow, nothing. Zero tomatoes. Good. How much lettuce was yesterday? Lettuce, one, two. Two lettuce yesterday. Today, just one. And tomorrow, one again. Good. How much cheese was yesterday? Cheese. I see uh, a big cheese. One cheese, I would say. Today, uh, just half of the cheese. Just a piece. And tomorrow, nothing. Zero cheese. How many yogurts were yesterday? Yogurts. Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six yogurts yesterday. Today, one, two, only two. And tomorrow, just one, right? Good. If we continue, we're going to find this. Here, you have to say yes or no, okay? Yes or no. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So, there were four tomatoes yesterday. Yes or no? I can't hear you. Yes or no? Four tomatoes. No. Very good. Next one. There is a lettuce today. Yes or no? Say that again. Yes. Very good. One more. I need someone to read this one. Yes, you can read it. Good. There are no tomatoes for tomorrow. Is that true? Yes or no? True. Yes. There are no tomatoes for tomorrow. Very good. One more. Four. There is cheese for tomorrow. There is cheese for tomorrow. Who wants to answer? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. You, you. Yes. There is cheese for tomorrow. Yes or no? No! Very good! Amazing! Uh, there's another question here. There were six bottles of milk yesterday. Six bottles of milk. Up there. One, two, three, four, five. Yes or no? Six bottles of milk yesterday? No, right? Just five. Very good. Now, we're going to have our last activity. Activity number two, worksheet three. This is pretty much the same. Very, very easy. Write yes or no for each sentence. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Remember. There were six tomatoes yesterday. Yes or no? There is lettuce today. Yes or no? There are three tomatoes for tomorrow. Yes or no? There were ten yogurts yesterday. Yes or no? Pause the video here. And once you're ready, we can check together. Good! Did you finish? That was easy, right? Let's check. There were six tomatoes yesterday. Yes. There is lettuce today. Yes. There are three tomatoes for tomorrow. No, right? There is cheese for tomorrow. Uh-uh. And there were ten yogurts yesterday. Ten. Mm-mm. I count just six, so it's no. Very, very good. So now, we're finishing. This was the end of the class. Good. So that's it. Did you enjoy it? It was very easy. Just remember, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Ayer, hoy, y mañana. Easy. Past, present, future. Pasado, with the dinosaur. 
presente, now, and in the future, with the robots. Good? Good. So, remember, all the time, that we have things in our fridge, and we can count them to keep learning. Check what we have today, and check tomorrow if you have the same things or not. Or if you have the same things from yesterday. Good? Good. So, the class is over, and I will see you next time. Bye!